Kia ora, my name is Gabby. Um, I'm part of the Kiwi Moon cast with capital E. I play Little Kiwi and I'm here with uh, Serena, our resident Kiwi expert. I'm so excited to hear a little bit more about Kiwis. During the day, they're all killed up asleep in a little burrow that they found and they can be in any burrow scattered throughout their territory. So they're not really that picky. They can just be killed up under some ferns. Once it gets dark, that's when they come alive. The kiwi gets up, he's probably quite hungry, has a bit of a dig around, try and find some, something to eat, um, calling out to his mate, and patrolling his territory, make sure no, no other kiwi have come into his territory. The kiwi we have here at Pukaha um, in our nocturnal house, they're completely opposite, obviously. So at the moment, it's daytime here in our nocturnal house, it's nighttime. Nine o'clock in the morning, the lights um, go out in our nocturnal house and the kiwi are pretty quick to get up, go and find all those yummy grubs and have, a, have some food that the rangers have left for them. At the end of our day, the, the lights come on again and the kiwis go back into their little burrow and have a nap. The male and female kiwi make different noises. So the male is, is probably sounds slightly nicer. It's kind of a rising call, kind of a little bit like that. I think the female um, is not quite so nice. It sounds a little bit like a cross between a duck and a frog. <laughs> so the male calls out and the female answers. They duet to each other. And um, they also, the male calls out to let um, other kiwi know that outside the territory, hey, don't come in my territory. They have a really long, strong beak, so that's so they can find all those yummy things hiding in the ground and pull them out. And they're really strong legs, so that's their main form of defence. So um, they're not light birds, or their legs make up a big proportion of their body weight. So um, and that's to fend off any nasty things that come and come and try and attack them. Kiwi don't have very good eyesight, so they use their other senses to find their way at night. They've got really good hearing um, and they can they listen for things that are moving in the ground so that helps them find their food as well. So they actually have whiskers, kind of like a cat's whiskers and um, they're really sensitive and, and help them find their way at night and really, really good sense of smell. So they've got one of the strongest sense of smells of any bird and that can help them find all their food that's hidden under the ground. Here we do have wings. They're just not very big, they're really little. So. Um, Obviously they don't need them anymore for flying and if they had big ones, can you imagine they would be have a bit of trouble going in and out of their burrows and probably get a little bit stuck. So they do have wings and when they go to sleep they generally curl up in a ball and they do stick their little beak under their wings. So kiwi used to be spread right throughout New Zealand, there was forest everywhere and they just they could wander around the forest, they didn't have any natural predators that were going to come and kill them. But as people have moved to New Zealand, taken um, the forest down for farmland, They've been condensed much more into little pockets right throughout New Zealand. But also people coming to New Zealand have brought predators with them and it's, and it's these predators that do come and kill our kiwis. So that's where they've got really, really vulnerable.